Right, good afternoon Mark. We've got Mark with us just before the Welling United game. How are you my friend? Yeah, good mate. Right, a uh, quick turnaround obviously from Friday to Monday and uh, a good win on on, on uh, Friday. You know, I watched the highlights and uh, what we, I know we had a to speak about it. What was your thoughts after you, after digesting everything? Well, I, thought, I think Chippenham are a really good side and we um, that break, that sort of two week break is never easy. Um, and um, we looked a little bit ring rusty, a little bit uh, off the pace at times, but like I said, I wouldn't read into that too much because obviously we know we're well known for being really fit and energetic team. But I think Chippenham, what with all their young pros and that, there, they um, they do put a real shift in. They got around the pitch really well. That's what they do. I think we've done enough first half. I think really, I will summarise it with I, I really think had it been nil nil at half time, we'd have won the game two nil. I think it, we played the scoreline a little bit, which is never a bad thing. Clean sheet and three key goals whilst goal difference is going to be important. Definitely. Right, so looking at this game, we're looking at the, if people don't know, it's a grass pitch and it's got a big slope on it. Obviously, it's quite a hard pitch. No water been put on it by the looks of it. So, you know, you expect willing to do these sort of things to when, when the second league turn up. So uh, it's going to be a difficult game, do you feel, today? I wouldn't imagine it's personal to us. I, I, obviously, um, um, yeah, the, the, the pitch could be in better condition. It's. Uh, kind of summer's day pitch if you like you know um, but it's easy for all of us sat there with a the 3G these days I remember us having a pitch like this so we can't get ahead of ourselves and at West Dumble I remember us playing a playoff game one year against Favish and there's barely any grass on it yeah. so um, it is what it is um, it's an old venue looks like they need to do a little bit of work on that but I'm sure they will it's a, a club with a real legacy and, and often clubs go they peak and trough don't they through through time and you know this is the club I'm sure that uh, kick back up again do you know what I mean they're a young side do you expect them to be running around a bit like Chip chipping them they're quite a young squad and uh, uh, you know they, 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 they want they need to win to stay up you know to, uh, you know they're in a battle for relegation so they're going to be looking fighting hard aren't they today yeah I mean it, just this league I think that the beauty of it is it's never never ever a dull moment today well, and had a what looked like a good result on paper um, at um, East Prince did a point three nil down at uh, Eastbourne. Um, that that'll give them some hope coming into today. Pitch will be um, interesting, I think, in terms of the way we play. They're pretty direct. You can see why probably. Um, so yeah, mate. I think um, I think we're a real tough bank holiday game. Like it's going to be for everybody today, everywhere. Do you know what I mean? So. Sure. Just got to worry about ourselves, really. What about the squad? What is the team today? Is there any, is there any change? Have you rested anyone today? Um, well, Niall's got a dead leg, so he's not involved. Um, Ed Harris, who I'd hoped to play, hasn't really recovered brilliantly from um, from Friday when he had to come on for Philpot. Philpot's back. Uh, Cheadle comes in for Kennedy, who's also not recovered brilliantly. Um, and um, Rutherford comes in, uh, playing with Jason. Okay. Fogden's on the bench. Um, the bench is Fogden Moore, Fogden Luke Moore, um, DJ comes in there, um, David. David, Bobby and Sammy. So really good bench. I felt like I felt like it was really key to make sure we could introduce legs today because sometimes in these type of conditions and you want to put someone on who just runs about, we don't really have that. Yeah. I look at the bench sometimes and you know, because you're playing sort of Josh and Foggy from the start and Niall, you haven't really got someone to come on and replace them. No, yeah. So I felt like McShane are going, you know, play in a different area today, which he's really effective at. I felt, again, the last third entries on a pitch like this, they're not going to be the same as a 3G pitch. So I felt like Jason going to need more support today. We've got to make the most of them situations. Yeah. Balls in the box, yes, yes. shots off. Yes. So I think we've got a really powerful team going forward. Um, Nicky comes in as well, so it's yeah, three to four changes, but all all top players that are super fit. So last time they played together, Pryor and uh, Rutherford was a good result against Dulwich, uh, the three-one against Dulwich. Blimey! So yeah, uh, good point. Yeah, so that was uh, I think what I enjoyed the most this year. That first well, half. You said it was the best uh, performance you felt from the team. So uh, yeah, just yeah. The, just the pace we played at that night was unbelievable, wasn't it? I know you say you concentrate on what we do, but do you, will you be keeping an eye on the Mason game today? I think we have to second half because 
the the real the real key thing. I mean, I think Dartford are very much in this title race. By the way, very much in it. If they win the day, they will be yeah. Very much in it. I just feel like you, it, it, you're playing five games against everybody's playing teams that can win. So anything could happen here. But but the point I would make is that at the moment our focus is on trying to get that down to three points because we've got the goal difference. Yeah. So as an example, if Maidstone were you know, losing and we were drawing with 10 minutes to go, we, we might not send the goalie up. So, so there is a, there's a non-emotional aspect of, of getting that right. Um, yeah, but um, obviously predominantly we're worried <coughs> about ourselves. Yeah, sure. Well, okay, then, Marble, thanks very much for your time and uh, good luck today. Cheers, and we'll, mate. We'll catch up after the game. Cheers, guys. All the best. <laughs>